Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I've got a two-issue review for you. Um, <laughs> hope everyone's having a good, uh, now it's going to be Thursday uh, morning out there. Um, this is Bulk Comics Witchblood. It's going to be issues number uh, five and six. Um, I wasn't sure how long this series was going. I, I read uh, issue five for a while, but I didn't have it to my reviews because I thought it was coming to a close with the next issue, but it might be issue seven or it could be continuing. I'm hoping it's continuing because I'm loving it so far. Um, the more and more I read, the more and more you know, the writer explores the, the, the world that he's created and it's getting better and better. Um, we are following um, Yana, and Yana is the main character right here with the green hair, and she is accompanied with Adela Koya and Texas Red. Um, the other two are kind of like bounty hunters, and uh, Yana is a witch, a very old witch. Um, the book starts out, and it's kind of just Yana, you know, having fun, traveling from here to there with like her friend the crow. Um, and yes, like a, a, the bird, you know, a crow. Um, eventually the story starts out where she runs into some, some vampires that are trying to, uh, they are, they are killing witches, all the, like as many witches as they can find, but they are draining their blood. They are looking for, um, it's kind of like an address, like, like each, uh, each sip of the blood gives them like, uh, the next direction, uh, on which way they need to go, but they are heading, they are looking for like the original witch. Um, it's the same individual that gave Yana her powers and a lot of the other witches. Um, let, let's just say the, the you know, um, like a, a witch god, let, let's just say. Um, so this one, <clears throat> it starts out, and we have this witch right here, and um, She's a more, like in this universe, they have like different types of witches, but this is a more like earthly type of witch. You can see her, she's using like the finding sticks and she's, uh, she's kind of like looking, looking for like water and stuff like that. Um, but she has come to this town and the town has been emptied and it's been overrun with this, you know, weeds and stuff like that. Um, she is have, having trouble locating the water when she does, she's led down into this cave and, um, she quickly finds out that she she kind of needs help, a little more help than she she brought. Um, we catch back up to our main heroine Yana and her two now um, good friends because originally they they were all like kind of against each other, and at this point they've all tag team up and they're, they are you know going after the vampires. Um, but they are on the journey after the vampires, like in hot pursuit. The vampires had a little. Um, like hit start on them. Uh, we're getting to the journey and they're basically running out of gas so they, they pull over at this town um, and I think it's like, I think the town is San Grosso. Um, I know it's, it, yeah, it don't matter. But anyways, they do stop in the town, the same town that we saw the other witch stop in and um, Incidentally, the, you know, it's the same thing. They get here and they're having trouble locating anybody. Eventually they do, uh, you know, they do find out there's no, uh, no gas and that kind of thing. They do find out that um, there's like weeds growing everywhere in the town and, and everybody in the town is slowly dying. Um, they do f manage to find one guy that kind of tells them to, to get the hell out and then and if they stay, they'll probably end up dying anyways. Yana and then they end up coming up with an idea on how to uh, because it was the, the motorcycle worked but the jeep ran out of gas so Yana comes up with the idea to, to take a little red you know wagon and attach it to the pack trying to get them further. Um, we do see that the other witch in the beginning of the story comes out of the you know the cave and she sees Yana and we get to see how um, this witch, when she first met Yana, how she looked, because that's how she looked a long time ago. She's kind of a, a, a reflection memory kind of thing, because Yana doesn't look like that currently. Um, but eventually they find out that there is something 
you know, deep dark down in the cave that, it ha that has something to do with the curse that's going on with this town. So, of course, you know, Yana and the rest of them go down there. Yana does uh, do a little prep work before she goes down there, taking a couple items with her. And, um, and they do make it down there, and they find, like, a, a kind of little, like, watering hole, basically. But it is this, this, I don't know what you would call it, but it is a entity that is down here, like a huge, uh, and you'll see in a second, but, but a huge tentacly-looking uh, monster, and it's basically, like, you know, sucking up all the water in the town and drying up everything. Um, so, of course, the girls eventually start to try to, you know, defeat the monster and save the town. They quickly find out that they, um, you know, that, that, um, that bullets and, and certain techniques do not work. Like, they, it can't be really cut. It can't, um, uh, you know, the bullets have no effect because he has this, like, acid mist around him that he's just kind of swirling around. That's that green coloring you see. Um... Yana does grab something from her pouch and she ends up like running, you know, head strong into the, the, you know, the arms of the monster and is taken below the water. The other two girls, they soon freak out and find out that it was part of Yana's plan that she uses like this, uh, like a, a miniaturized spell and she uh, makes the monster a little bitty. Um, we do find out that the monster was, was you know, attached to this, an older witch. It comes out that, um, that Yana actually knows this witch. Her name was like, uh, Fergaiti. Um, and that long ago they used to be friends and stuff like that and something happened to this witch and she got stuck down there. Um, we basically see these two witches and I think this, this girl's name is, is, uh, is Acosta is her name. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm really bad with names, for those of you who don't know, but um, basically Yana and Acosta, they have this little, you know, sidebar because they, they have known each other for a long time, both being witches, and, and this, this world witches live for a long time, um, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, so Acosta is like, oh, I see you're on like a mission, you know, you're, you're trying to protect, you know, and Yana's also trying to find, you know, um, and I think her name is Esme, I'm not possible, but it's Esme is like the original witch, the god witch. But she is also trying to locate, you know, the god witch herself. Um, it's not just the vampires trying to locate the god witch. But um, Acosta kind of tells her, like, hey, you know, I'm, I, I could be, you know, if you're doing this, I could go along in the journey, be a fighter with you. And, and Yana's like, nah, we got this, you know, it's kind of like a personal thing, and she kind of... Um, you know, in a, in a friendly way, but kind of tells her to, that, you know, that they got it and they stay away. We do catch up with the vampires that are being led by this guy that has a witch, like a witch's eye that he took. And that's how they are, they, they know the path now. Um, and it looks like they're one step closer to finding what they, they need to find to, uh, find Esme. And that is the the fifth issue of Wishblood. Then we get to this week's current issue of Witchblood. And I will say one thing, this is the first time I've ever seen this, but on the back of this book, it gives you a little synopsis, right? But then right here, it's the first time I've ever seen this, but it says featuring the first appearance of the Witch Queen Esma. It even tells you there's a first appearance in the book. Like how crazy is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we're catching up, and this is a this is a character that we met. Um, I want to say three books back, and she kind of swooped in and saved Yana, and ended up falling in love with Yana, and told her that she would show back up sooner or later. When she do when she did show up the first time, it was kind of like um, um, she just had like a massive amount of power enough that the the other vampires got scared, kind of thing. Um, this is basically like uh, in the background type of thing and she is talking like evidently she's high she's high up in the vampire community and she is talking to other members of the vampire household um, they are kind of like a committee and they're all shown like kind of huddled together on this table looking thing um, or it might be a big bed <clears throat> but eventually they do give the order to go after uh, uh, 
And I always get confused if it is... Yes, Jupiter. Jupiter is the main vampire that is leading the crusade, trying to find the, the witch god Esme. And um, this vampire lady, she gets the order to bring uh, Jupiter and his crew back to the you know, the order of the vampires to get, you know, basically be held up to their actions in front of a council kind of thing. Um, and then basically after that, um, you know, we, we, she basically goes over to her little bat friend, hops on the bat, and she, you know, goes off to Jupiter and we're looking for Jupiter. Um, we catch up with the, it's kind of like the origin story for Yana because she is shown here before she had uh, witch powers and they show her you know she was like um, basically searching uh, for something she wasn't quite sure what and um, she basically ends up finding the uh, the witch god Esme and this is Esme and all her powers as soon as uh, Yana walks in um, the witch god already knows who she is and what she is about and blah 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 and she is blessed with the powers of being the first witch on earth she is um you know given uh the witch god's blood and then after that it changes yana into the yana that we know and love and starts the whole creation of witches on earth um because eventually every single uh witch that comes down the line at some point they all got some of um Esme's blood, and that's what turned them into a witch kind of thing. Uh, we catch up with Jupiter, and and they are, you know, still on the journey, going to where they're going. In the background, we have um, Yana and the two other girls, and they have finally caught up with Jupiter. And also at the same time, we have Miss Vampire Lady, who shows up on her vampire bat and is attacking um, Jupiter and his gang. Um, the Jupiter and his gang, they eventually get all weirded out because at first they are ready to tackle Yana and the other two girls. They've already kind of had two different, you know, dabbles with them. So they weren't really worried about them, but once the girl, the vampire lady shows up, the mistress, um, they, they basically kind of like freak out and they're like, oh God, not her, we gotta, we gotta go. And uh, the guy that's riding the back of Jupiter with the, with the uh, witch eye, he basically opens up this kind of like portal and it's what they've been looking for the whole time. And they had to be at a, like a certain location to use the spell kind of thing to open this portal to find the witch god Esme. Um, and they do so. All sets go inside the portal as shown here in the, the hyper uh, fidelic trippy uh, scenes. Um, and when they come through the other side, they uh, most everybody is kind of weirded out. The... Um, the mistress vampire is like, oh my god, it's her, you know, and, and Ayana is, is excited because she can instantly, you know, feel um, Esme in, in the in the air kind of, you know, kind of thing. Um, when she gets there, we find out it is already too late. It is Esme, but um, Jupiter is already there, and, and he states so, and instantly, as soon as, you know, Ayana walks in, he starts drinking her blood. Um, and to one note, for some reason, Esme does not stop, um, she does not stop, uh, you know, Jupiter from drinking her blood. Uh, finally, we get to see, um, and she has shown bits and pieces of this before, but she does this whole, like, action kind of witch, you know, with battle gear type thing, and she hops into, um, you know, battle mode, and she fights Jupiter with some crazy stuff. And at one point, she's got the whole, like, uh, this kind of laser saber that, that appears when she, uh, you know, puts on this 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 whole thing. But we find out it's not, not for too long, because uh, something does strip her of all her, her powers, and it's just, it's, it's because Jupiter has drank in the blood of a god. And now he's being able to use said powers of the god. He even makes a note, like right here, where he's like, "Y'all can do transform, you know, trans uh, mutations and and transfigurations." And he was like, "Bro, that that witch right there. She was being so nice just by like fist fighting us. She could have like, 
augmented the air and just killed us outright. Um, but he kind of states that he will not be as nice as she was. Um, at that point, we see like Esme in the background, and she is like, it, you know, to a weakened state because all the other vampires have gone over there and at one point feeded on her during the whole fiasco. Um, and basically, at that point, instead of fighting, he just kind of, you know, Jupiter ends up grabbing the 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 other vampire with the witch eye and they, they blast off like Superman and it looks like we're gonna have to find out what's going on in the next issue they do show Jupiter and his little back back buddy um, for the next issue so I'm super excited the uh, it seems like I, I want to say um, that the the artist is, is like you know the first two issues it seems like he was a little timid and this and that but as the issues go, it seems like he is, uh, you know, getting into his uh, fine niches with Yana and Esme and everybody. Um, a really great read. It's fun. Um, you know, it is stated that it's like a Western fantasy, you know, and it, it really is. It's a great book. Um, it's not too serious. And that's all I got to say. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know, have you even seen Witch Blood? Um, and Witch Blood for me was something I picked up on a whim. Um, it, I wanted to try as many indies as I could, and I saw the name, I saw the way Yana looked, and I was like, yep, I'm picking it up. Um, and so far it has not disappointed. I've stuck on, you know, all we're at six issues, and I will be there for some more. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a good one.